everyone, I'm the Feral Daryl that plays, and welcome back to another Adopt Me video. In this video today, I will be showing you guys how to find the best trades online in Adopt Me. So, without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So, you might be confused when I say online trades in Adopt Me, and when I mean online trades in Adopt Me, I, what I mean by that is I mean we go to another website, find a trade, and then go back to Adopt Me and do that trade in game. It is perfectly fine, you won't get banned for it, uh, but you do have to be very careful of scammers and hackers. But basically I'm going to show you guys how to find the best deals using all of those websites. The four websites I will be using today is Tradery.com. All of these will be in the description of this video. Tradery.com is used to find trades online. Also, uh, Twitter or X, that's another really good tool that you guys can use to find trades, especially if you guys join Adopt Me trading communities like I am in. I have this one Adopt Me trading community, they are very active, and I find a lot of my trades on that trading community very often, so I use that as well. The third website we'll be using is AdoptMeTradingValues.com. I use that website to find trades, and well not find trades, but show the value of pets and uh, potential trades that I am looking to trade for. Also the other value website that I use is AdoptMeValues.gg. I use that site also for trades. I'll talk more about the difference between those two trading value sites at the very end of today's video. But for now, let's go ahead and start off by using Tradery and I will show you guys a step-by-step -step guide to find the best trades on Tradery. But before we even get there, first we have to figure out which pets we are willing to trade and which pets we are looking for, which is the hardest thing to do sometimes. But for me, I'm going to start off by selecting the things that I want to trade. And I want to trade a Ride Potion, a Golden Egg, a Neon Metal Ox, a Phoenix Pet. And those are the pets I'm going to start off with. I might expand to more pets later in today's video. Probably not, but these pets are pretty safe to trade, especially the Ride Potion. That is super easy to trade. And to make things more simpler, I will be unstarring all of the other pets in my inventory. So I can just have the starred items in my favorites category. So the Golden Egg, the Phoenix, the Neon Metal Ox, and the Ride Potion. So let's go ahead and go to Tradery and start trading those. So once you actually go to the website, tradery.com slash adopt me, yes, Tradery does have uh, trading websites for many other games like Royal High, Animal Crossing, and many other games. But anyways, this is the home screen in Tradery. I'm going to skip all the steps where you guys have to sign in, make an account, and verify your Roblox account because that takes a long time. Um, if you guys are looking for a tutorial for that, there's other really good tutorials on how to make your account on YouTube, so I highly recommend watching those before watching this video. Uh, but anyways, the first pet I will be trading is my writable Phoenix pet. So I search in Phoenix, and then you see this category right here, and you see three different options, trading, looking for, and recent trades. Recent trades is exactly what it sounds like. It's what other people have recently traded for those items, so you can kind of see what the pet is worth. Next up, the trading category, which is what we'll be using a lot is what uh, you and other people could be trading the uh, pet for. So yeah, pretty self-explanatory. So the next thing that we have to do is actually list the pet on the trading tab. So we, ha we have selected trading, we have our phoenix, uh, we are checking to make sure that it is writable and check the age of it as well. So it is writable and the age is junior, so we tick the writable thing and then you put the age as junior and then we click add listing. Now, a very big tip that I have for you guys, when you first start listing on Tradery, list the same pet twice. List the pet once for like exactly what you want and list one blank. So I already did one blank right there, so I just listed the Phoenix, writable Phoenix pet so that people can offer anything that they possibly want. And the second thing that you should do is list that same pet for exactly what you want. Now this is actually smarter than it may seem because you have the same pet listed twice, one time for exactly what you want, but other times for other trades as well so that people can offer for the pet without having to trade the exact little thing. Cause like what are the chances that a person really wants to trade their T-Rex for my Phoenix? Yeah, probably very little 
um, amount. So that is why I, I do both. I do exactly what we want and I do another blank listing so that people can offer exactly what they want so we can get the best of both worlds. Now the second step to getting really good trades on Tradery is by going to the looking for tab. We already listed our Phoenix pet, but we're gonna see what other people are offering for it. So on this looking for tab, people are looking for a Phoenix and it has what they're offering for that Phoenix. For example, some person's offering a ride potion, this person's offering a rideable octopus, this person's offering a unicorn and a golden unicorn. So you can kind of see what other people are offering for. And then the beauty of it is we can go to the Adopt Me Trading Values website or adoptmevalues.gg and check the values of those pets. So like that person was offering a unicorn and a golden unicorn. So you can check if that trade is actually worth it. And according to this, that this is a win for me. So I should probably do that trade. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that person or just keep looking at other trades But yeah, this person right here offered a unicorn and a golden unicorn So I'm going to click on their profile which is drift king in this case And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to DM them to see if they still have this trade available Because I really want to do this trade This is a really good trade and by finding what other people want for trades is the best way to go in tradery Because you know exactly what they're offering and what exactly you have have. So it is definitely super easy to do the looking for trading opposed to like normal trading, but I'll explain more of this later. So I clicked on this person's profile and it automatically starts on the message tab. So I clicked on the message tab and I basically said that I was looking for or that they were looking for Phoenix and they were offering uh, the unicorn and the golden unicorn and I wanted to see if they still have that trade available. Now I highly recommend that you do this for multiple people in the looking for category because it's not often that the people actually say yes to it. I think in like the year or two that I've been on Tradery, it's only happened like three or four times, but when it does happen, it's really, really overpay trades, and it is definitely worth doing it. So might as well um, utilize this looking for tab on Tradery, because you can find really sweet deals on there that you would normally not find uh, on a normal listing. So yeah, th that's how I did that trade. The next tip I have for you guys is to never do one single pet on Tradery at a time. I highly recommend that you trade like multiple pets, like five or six listings at a time, so that you'll always be busy on Tradery and be doing multiple things. For example, after I did that Phoenix trade, I'm going to list my ride potions. Like I said earlier, it, it is always good to list every single thing that you have twice. So I listed one ride potion blank so that people can offer exactly what they want. And next I'm going to list this ride potion for exactly what I want so that people can choose both, um, either make their own offer or trade for exactly what I want, which is less likely to happen. And after you have listed all of your items or pets, go ahead and go on to the regular trading tab for that item that you were looking for and go ahead and keep offering spam offering every single listing on here. So every time that I see a person is off is listing one ride potion, I click on them, I make my offer, which is a golden egg, which is underpay, but I am doing it just for this video's sake. And I do all of these listings over and over and over. I go from person to person looking at all of the listings and every time that I see a person is offering one ride potion, I put in my offer, I submit it, and then I do that process over and over and over until I've listed like, or I've offered every single listing that is trading one ride potion for the last like hour or so. This could take a very long time to do, it could take five minutes, it could take 20 minutes, but it is definitely worth it to get your trade out there because if one person declines it, another person could accept it. That's exactly what you were looking for on Tradery. And speaking of exactly what you were looking for, it does not always happen. It is rare, um, but eventually you will get notifications on your notification bell. This is the first trade offer that I got. I listed my golden egg and this person offered a magma snail, which is not what I was looking for. But anyways, I canceled on them because that was not what I was looking for. I also got this offer right here, my ride potion for a Cairo Sphinx and a Halloween golden mummy cat, which to be honest, I have no idea what the value is about either pet. So let's go ahead and go 
to adoptmetradingvalues.com once again and list those pets to see exactly what it is worth and if it is worth a ride potion because yeah i have no clue what these are worth um so yeah let's go ahead and list them first we'll start off with the uh cryo sphinx i have no idea how to spell it which is why i'm struggling so that is worth more than a ride potion on its own um and they also offered a halloween golden mummy cat so yeah, this is a pretty good trade. Let's go ahead and accept this trade and hopefully they will do it. So yeah, this is like the process that I always do every time I go on Tradery. Once a person offers, I uh, put that same listing into the trading value site and I see what happens. So the first thing that we do is accept them once we find that we want that and let's go ahead and message them. So messages keep it very very simple the message that i would do is like yes i'm willing to do this trade let me know if you are willing to do this trade as well or what is your roblox username or something so i just said hi i will do this trade to let them know that i want to do the trade and we wait for a response now actually for that one they did not respond but because i listed the ride potion so many times I got this trade later on, a regular dire stack for a golden griffin, and I said, hi, I will do this trade. And then a few seconds later, they responded and said their Roblox username, so I can go ahead and friend them. And speaking of friending them, I went over to Roblox, I searched up their username, I clicked people, and I friended them. So all we gotta do now is wait for them to accept it and join me and adopt me. What you can also do as well to buy some time is tell them that I sent the friend request so that they are looking out for it as well because otherwise they might not see that I sent a friend request. So after that then we go into adopt me and we wait for them to log in once you did friend them and this could take a while sometimes because people lag sometimes but I clicked teleport after a while it worked. Uh, I got to them and now we went ahead and did the trade. I traded my ride potion for a dire stag and a golden griffin pet which is exactly what we had listed on Tradery. This is a win for me. This is also exactly what they want so that's a win for them as well. And this is how I find all of these really good trades on Tradery. I love Tradery because of it. Uh, that trade was pretty good. I could have gotten better for the ride potion, but I am absolutely happy with that. So the next thing that we do is we finish the trade and we review them five stars because they will also give you five star rating if you give them a five star first. So yeah, that's exactly my process to find a trade in Tradery. But the process is far from over. Why? Because we just got more pets. We got a dire stag and we got a golden griffin. So let's go ahead and trade those. So my offer is I am offering every single post that has three ride potions for a dire stag, my rideable phoenix, and the golden griffin pet. And I, I do this for every single three ride potions that are listed on Tradery, so that maybe one person could accept it in the future, uh, which I did not ha actually have time to do this trade, so I did not end up doing it. But after you get new pets, I highly recommend that you trade those pets as well. Tradery is a cycle. You list one pet, you do a trade. From that trade, you use those pets and get back into the cycle and trade those pets again on Tradery. It's a never ending cycle and that's how you really get rich in adopt me very very fast just by using tradery now there's also other websites you can use besides tradery like i mentioned at the start of this video what i use is i use the social media platform x slash twitter uh and there are many different adopt me trading communities on there i use one of them and the first thing that i do when i want to find a trade is I take a screenshot of the exact trade that I want to do. So this trade right here, the Dire Stag, Phoenix, and Golden Griffin for the three ride potions. I take a screenshot of it, and then I go to the Adopt Me community, which I list that post, and make sure that on there too that I put I am left, because uh, if you don't put that on the left side, then people might get confused. This happened a few times as well. So yeah, I say looking for this trade right here and then I am left just to show that I'm the left side of the trade and they are the right side. And this is a really, really good way to find trades. Also, people might not want to do those trades as well. So what you do in the meantime while you're waiting is you scroll through the community and find a trade that you are willing to do. And like I said in the past as well, you can always find better trades 
by finding what other people want and not what you want. So I saw something that caught my mind. I saw the Halloween blue scorpion. So I'm going to go to the trade value website once again and put in a neon Halloween blue scorpion and list one of my pets, which I'm not sure which pet I want to list so far. The golden griffin is not even close to worth it. So I'm going to put in my phoenix pet and it turns out that my phoenix pet uh, is worth slightly less than the Neon Halloween Blue Scorpion. So yes, I'm definitely going to do that trade. I'm going to message them right here because they said trading for upgrades. And I think that's an upgrade right there. So I'm going to comment on their post uh, because that's exactly what I want. I want the Halloween Blue Scorpion. And I'm going to ask them rideable Phoenix for their Neon Halloween Blue Scorpion. And I'm going to wait for them to respond and see what happens. So yes... Uh, replying on other people's posts is definitely the way to go on these communities because you can find exactly the pets that you want and not have to go out and looking for them on your own. So a few minutes later, she responded and she said yes to DM and for privacy uh, purposes, I will not show the DM, but I did give her my Roblox username. She friended me and a few minutes later, I teleported to her in game and then we did the trade. So yeah, this is a super easy way to find trades in Adopt Me, either using Tradery or by using uh, Twitter communities. I found all of these trades in less than like two minutes each. Uh, but anyways, yeah, my Phoenix for the Neon Halloween Blue Scorpion, which is one of the cutest pets in the game. I absolutely love it. It is one of the most underrated pets in my opinion. So I'm so glad that I got it. This is, this is exactly what I was looking for for my Phoenix. And this is a great way to go. So either by using tradery or by using X communities, uh, it is so easy to find trades online in Adopt Me. I also once again want to specify that the grind is never over. As soon as you do a trade, go back onto Tradery, list more pets, and find another trade that you want. The next trade right here, I'm listing these three pets for a Skelly Rex pet, which I saw that a person had on my Twitter community, and I'm going to go ahead and list those three pets for that trade right there. So I did this, I took a screenshot of the trade from adoptmetradingvalues.com and then I showed that screenshot and then said these three pets for your Skelly Rex and eventually we'll hear back either yes or no and we can find more trades in Adopt Me. Next up, I do want to mention the two trading calculators that I mentioned at the very start of this video, adoptmetradingvalues.com and also adoptmevalues.gg. Um, there, uh, these, although these websites are very similar, there's a lot of differences. And the easiest way for me to show the differences is using a snow owls and ride potions on adoptmetradingvalues.com. A snow owl is worth kind of close to two ride potions, but meanwhile on adoptmevalues.gg, a ride potion, one ride potion is worth more than a snow owl. It is very inconsistent on both of the trading sites. So I highly recommend that before doing a trade, I would look at both trading sites and kind of like seeing the difference between the two to see if it's close or to see if it's way off. So I don't really want you to get scammed just because one site has extreme value while the other site has extreme low value. So yeah, just be aware of that. Now, although Tradery and X are really, really good at finding trades, there are a few things to be aware of, and that is scams and hacks. Yeah, they're very common on this site, and you guys can tell pretty much immediately by looking at a trade. When I search up Evil Unicorn, do you see all of these with sandwiches, or garden eggs, or apples? These are scams. Also notice how this one person right here, VYE, has three different evil unicorns listed, a regular, a neon, and a mega. Those are scams, guys. Just stay away from those, don't offer from those. If it's too good to be true, it is too good to be true. Those are scams, they will wanna scam you and hack you, or uh, either one sometimes. But yeah, just don't click on those, don't offer for them, only click on someone with a pretty decent five star rating. Like, uh, even if you have like 11 uh, five stars, I, I wouldn't even do it. But like this person right here who has 269 five stars, they're trusted definitely. But yeah, these people trading apples or sandwiches or garden eggs for really good pets, they're not actually trading them. All they want you to do is click a link and they hack you. So yeah, that's the next trading tip right here. Never click links on Tradery ever. Never click links. And if anyone wants you to go to their YouTube or to go to some other site, 
don't do it, it's a scam. Basically, only do trades if they give you their Roblox username and don't ask for anything else. If they want to take you to another website, don't go to the other website. Decline the, the trade because it is a scam and they will hack you. Yeah, it's, it's so easy not to get hacked, but I see it so often as well. Just don't fall for these scams. Don't click on links. Don't go to other websites. It's as easy as that. It's so easy to find that uh, there's so many scammers out there and just don't fall for their scams. Don't give in to it. But yeah, it's as easy as that. Uh, but that's about it for today's video. I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I wish you luck to find the best trades on Tradery and X community so that you guys can be even better at Adami and grow your inventory at a significant pace. So thank you so much for watching. This has been Feral Daryl That Plays. Goodbye.